the united spirit of the Ukrainian people shines before the world. Part 8 of 12 on Between Master and Disciples, held in English. Warning, sensitive content. In another news, mm. Lithuania will no longer import the Russian gas to meet its domestic needs. Yeah. It becomes the first country in Europe to have uh, secured its independence from Russian supplies. Yeah, good. And another, Odis Baris, the CEO of uh, Connexus Baltic Grid, told Latvian radio, since April 1st, Russian natural gas is no longer flowing to uh, Latvia, Estonia, and uh, Lithuania. Mm. Very good. Very good. Yeah, see? They don't really need it. They just think they need it. It's a habit. Mm. Right. Yes. Yes. Rely on the habit and laziness. So, they are just too comfy. Yes. 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 Why bother? They have money. They have good position. They have retirement money for sure and secured. So why would they bother changing anything to make their countrymen better? Right. Yes. Yeah, whatever happens, they're okay anyway. But in Ukraine, even some of their parliament members pick up rifles and fight. Mm. Yes. Their ex-president, also, for Rofenkos, the ex-president of Ukraine, he also went out to fight with the army. <laughs> and ex-CM also, and some others who are normally not in the army service, government uh, people, they also went out to fight. Mm, yes. Yes. yes, yes. If something good comes out of the Ukraine war, is it the United spirit of the Ukrainian people is shining for the whole world to see. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, right. I mean, worldly, mundanely speaking, they are the best example. Yes, 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 yes master. master. But that regardless of the Buddha teaching, you should not have a weapon and kill and all that, but in this mundane world, they are the best. Right. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, master. Master. yes, They're united to fight, to protect their people. That's very noble, to sacrifice your own life for somebody else's life is the utmost sacrifice in this world already. Yes, yes master. master. It's the ultimate. Yes. yes. Even family members wouldn't do that willingly for each other. Yes, yes master. master. That's why I praise them, not because I want war. Yes. I praise their noble spirit. They are just mundane people. Yes, yes master. master. And even then, they sacrifice their life for others' lives. Yes, mm, yes Master. I don't know if any of my so-called disciples would sacrifice their life for me. Being taught all these decades. See what I'm saying? Yes, Master. Yes. All right. That's why when the Prophet Muhammad was alive, peace be upon him forever, he said that if you sacrifice for protecting the truth, mm -hmm. protecting Islam at that time, you will go to heaven. And it is like that. Right. Yes, Master. He spoke the truth. Because it's a noble spirit. Yes, yes master. master. They are forced to fight to defend others, to defend the prophet, to defend his, their family members, the innocent women and children. Yes, yes master. master. That's why after some of those uh, defenders for Islam, for their prophet at that time, died, he told others who were alive, take their wives and children into your protection and treat them just like your own wife and your own children. Right, yes, yes master. master. Not that he advocated for many wives in a household. Right, yes. yes. Nowadays, some Muslims use that to their advantage for their own lustful desire. Mm, yes, yes, master. yes. But it wasn't like that. Because the Prophet, priest peace upon him, promoted that, so that the soldiers who died for the great cause like that would feel at peace. Yes. Mm. Knowing that their family are yeah, looked after because in those days women didn't work. Yes, right. yes, women could not go out alone to work. And now many in India or other Arab countries is still the same. It's opening more now. Yes. yes. More now. But I heard that in Afghanistan, Afghan women still cannot go out alone without endangering themselves. Mm. 
is not allowed. Well, at least recently, recent years still. Yes. yes. Only when the Americans were there or when the last kings were there, the women were freer. Yes. Mm. They even can wear a shorter skirt to go out to work. You know, look like Europeans or Americans. Right, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, did I answer your question? Yes, Master. <laughs> oh, non-question question. <laughs> Tell me, what else? Master, uh, Ukrainian uh, volunteers have been weaving camouflage nets and making bulletproof vests in the southeastern city of Zaporizhia in Ukraine. Many volunteers in the country also run makeshift operations to supply the army with homemade protective gear. Because they don't have enough supplies from the Western countries. Yes. They still don't have enough. Yes. yes Despite the Americans promising that. But sometimes the Ukraine, they, we are thankful for your support and wanting to send us the supplies, but what we receive is not it. Maybe mm. they send some not uh, functional things or too old. Yes. It's not functioning. They try what they can with their own makeshift or uh, inventive kind of uh, way to protect themselves mm. and to help Ukraine to fight for freedom from Russia, from Putin, actually. Mm. Mm. Right, yes. The Russian people, they don't know much about it. And they don't want war. Nobody wants war. No ordinary people would want war. Mm, right, yes. Yes, 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 right. No, why? What for? If you have enough food on your table and your children can go to school, mm. in peace, well, why do you want war, huh? Mm, yes. 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 What is in it for you? Yeah. Only if you may die and mm. leave your children often and leave your wife widow. Yes, yes. 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 No, normal people would love that. Even if they are not political minded or peace inclined, they would never think like that. Yes. Never think of going to war and killing other people. Yes. 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 It was just forced upon them by stupid, evil leaders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People in Russia, those who know the truth, they hate Putin. Yeah. Yes. So he should be careful. Yeah? He might be even killed soon. Mm -hmm. well, well, it doesn't matter. He's sick anyway, according to a uh, report that he for a long time, many years already, had had a sick with cancer. Oh. Thyroid cancer. The thyroid is in the throat area. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because he talks so bad, he orders people to go out and kill, so mm. what can he expect from that, mm. huh? Mm. Right. Taking people's land, killing people, cutting their throats, taking their property, their freedom, their peace. I'm surprised that he's still not dead yet. Yes, yes, yes. Well, karma in hell, it won't give him any leniency. Mm. Uh, He's supposed to be sick, and his doctors are around him often, yes. Yes. flying in from afar. But instead of uh, praying and being repentant for whatever karma or sin he had done, he harms more. He harms these dear people for their antlers. They get the blood from the antlers to bath in it. Oh. Oh. Imagine how many antlers to fill his bath. Wow. Oh. Maybe he drinks the blood because he's so thirsty. Oh, oh. my God. Concerning his uh, sickness, he's really mentally sick because he has thyroid cancer. But he harms the poor innocent dear people to, to have the blood to fill his bath, to keep taking the blood bath in order to cure his cancer. Oh. The more he takes this blood bath, the more sick he will become. The blood and the anguish and the hatred from the animal people who are harmed justly. It sink into his brain and make him more sick. Mm. Yes, yes, Master. Uh, the poor animal. People, you see, this uh, bloodthirsty monster, really. It's just like uh, Pope Francis. He wants to eat the beef steak raw. Move, meaning they're still alive. The life left. Oh, God, disgusting. Oh, when will these demons stop harming humanity? and go back to their health. Oh, my God. Demons, they love fresh blood. Dos días antes de entrar al conclave del que saldría elegido Papa, el Cardenal Bergoglio comió en la casa del Cardenal Javier Lozano Barragán, un viejo amigo muy cercano desde hace 30 años. Siempre comía con él cuando estaba de paso por Roma. En esta silla estaba sentado y yo les pregunté que cómo les gustaría la carne. 
entonces me queda viendo y me dice, ¿qué muja? Yo, yo me le quedé viendo extrañado, ¿qué muja? Dice, sí, cruda. <risa> yo, yo me imaginé que muja, pues me imaginé otra cosa, no, no, como, pues así, en crudo totalmente. Y ya le fui, se la traje y pues le gustó bastante. Irina Kostenko wanted to talk about the 10th of March, the day the Russians killed her only son, Oleksiy. The two lived here just 500 meters from his job, changing tires at a garage. <laughs> The pain is so bad. <laughs> On her own, Irina buried Alexei in the garden after she'd brought his body back from the road in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> I covered the grave with a blanket to protect it from the dogs. He isn't in the coffin. I had to roll him in a carpet. Five weeks of war, but it only takes a moment to destroy a family. <laughs> Irina found another picture of her son. This is my love, she said. My sweetheart. <laughs> Oleg Spak takes me into his front garden, where an ordinary family was hit by a Russian missile. His two-year-old son, Stepan, was buried under the rubble. He fell asleep in bed with new sheets because he wanted to sleep in ones with stars. So my wife did that for him. He fell asleep and he never woke up again. He was lively and liked to play, but his final days were spent below ground, hiding from bombs, not in the garden that was tended with love. All these so-called leaders, they are really so cold-blooded, like Pope Francis saying that it's an infantile war. How can it be? It sounds like just uh, children's uh, naughty game. It's not a game, man. It's not childish. It is life and death of a nation. Yes, yes
I want to present the animals as human, paint their portraits as if they were celebrities. They deserve the same treatment as we do. Chantal Poulin, the Rocher, vegan.